What's up, Samurai? We back in this morning. And today I wanted to talk about flasks because this is something that's been brought to my attention more recently. Lots and lots of you guys keep sounding off in the comments, whether it be on live streams or just on my videos, talking about how death defying is dead. No more death defying. Goodbye death defying, right? So uh, essentially, for those of you that don't know, in the skill tree in Trove, there is now this stat right here, which damaging enemies grants 10% life leech. Damaging enemies, not killing them, just damaging them. And this ability makes almost every class in the game basically invincible. Even some of your slower hitting classes are going to end up being able to tank a lot more things. And because of it, a lot of people are arguing that death defying is useless now. And yes, technically it is, okay? So what I wanted to present to you today is some other options that you can use besides death defying while also acknowledging the fact that I still do use death defying. I'm simply doing it because I'm a creature of habit and I've had death defying for years. A lot of times I like to look away from the computer and stuff. So death defying has saved me if I just want to walk away. You know, I don't have to be like super glued to the game, right? I use death defying because I'm used to it and because it's like easy and I don't got to think about anything. That's it. It's not that it's going to end up being the best option anymore. That said, there is the high probability that Death Defying will become king once again whenever we get the new difficulty spike that is inevitably going to end up happening to Trove with updates. Everyone's speculating whether it's going to be U12 or something lazy like that, but it might be something a whole uh, a whole other category. I don't know. So I wanted to talk about some alternatives that you can end up using. Uh, Elysian Bandolier is one that I've seen a lot of people use. The only reason you would use this is because the sheer amount of potions that you end up getting. Otherwise, they're not going to heal you very well and there are going to be better options. Death Defying, of course, is going to be one of the best options just because if you die or lose all your health, then this ultimately is going to end up giving you uh you know popping a flask and keeping you from dying right which up to this point was a really important thing vial of unleashed power is a really really good one particularly on tomb razor and stuff because essentially when you use your ultimate it's going to give you uh your various emblem effects without actually consuming a flask but there are still better options vampiric can be all right just because it gives you a flask charge once you defeat an enemy or at least has a chance to Valorous is another big one you'll see lots of people use, especially on your heavy hitting characters like Shadowhunter, uh, Draco, and Tomb Raider, where they have a constant barrage of damage going out because these have a chance to recover one charge when you deal a critical hit. And since we can have 100% crit hit in this game, basically it just is god tier, right? Then there's going to end up being the, uh, is it the Evasive Vial? No, that one's, I mean, that one's okay has a chance to trigger a heal and a random emblem effect when you perform a dodge. It's not great. Conjurers is the other big one lots of people end up using because it has a chance to recover a charge when you trigger magic find, which once again, similar to us having a high amount of crit, magic find triggers like every single enemy for me. So this was kind of the main one that lots and lots of people were always use just because of the fact that it was such a surefire way to regenerate flasks more so than you were spending them doing dungeons. So speaking of the questers vial is something that I would recommend for someone that he has neither crit hit or magic find because it has a chance of recovering a charge after you complete a dungeon. But frankly speaking, if you're that weak, no offense, but if you are that low in your stats, then you're probably just going to want to be using Deathifying anyways, because Deathifying is in no way irrelevant. It still is the best flask in the game up until you end up getting this Life Leech ability. Vanguard can be a decent one if you're like the physical tanky characters like Revenant, which already has Life Steal. So this Life Steal from the skill tree on top of it is God tier. Uh, Knight actually is really, really invincible right now with its ultimate. Uh, I remember using the Chaos Vial back in the day because it triggers a random emblem effect, an extra one, but I don't think that that's used that much anymore. Uh, and then this doubles the effects of any equip emblems that summon combat minions. So this was one of the best emblems long back in the day of Shadow Towers that people would end up using to beat bosses really quickly because the ally emblem effects would actually deal a lot of damage. I don't know whether or not people use that anymore for Leviathans and so on and so forth, because there's probably just not much of a point versus using some of the Aeroflasks, but 
maybe it would still end up being pretty good for a boss killer. That said, again, a quick reminder, in almost all of my videos, I'm always just using death defying. That's why I wanted to make this a standalone video that talks about the advances of using all of these different flasks, just in case you were unsure which one you could end up using. They all do end up having their benefits, but for the most part, like some of them, you know, this restores 100% of your life instead of a little bit. Who cares, right? Like it's not really that big of a deal uh, to end up having those lower tiered ones. The thing is that when you get to the end game in Trove, or more particularly when you get into the skill tree, and arguably you only need to have one, two, three different celestial stars in order to invest into this skill tree, and then your builds just double. You know, you can suddenly end up using all sorts of flask options, which is really cool, albeit, you know, my brain's kind of caved in a little bit and I don't really care because unga bunga, I, I just use what is effective for me. And uh, again, I want to be able to just walk away from things. But anyways, that's going to do it for me. Hopefully you found this video helpful in some way, shape or form. Keep in mind that in my other videos, like my 45K series, which is coming soon, uh, you know, I'm going to end up finally finishing that series for you guys. But in videos like that, you'll probably still see me using death defying rather than using these other flasks. All that means is that when I'm showing the potential of these characters at 45 KPR, they could essentially be reaching a slightly higher potential because it's not really going to make that much of a difference in terms of damage output outside of like maybe a couple of the emblems and flask effects that you could use. But for the most part, the only reason you would use these flasks instead of death defying is because of the regenerative properties of the flask so that you can essentially do more dungeons within the same amount of time. Rather than with death defying, you're gonna slowly run out of flasks and you're gonna have to go and you know fill them up rather than just, oh, I have Conjurer's Crucible. I'm regenerating flasks more so than I can spend them, which means I don't have to regenerate my flasks. But the same argument can be said about five-star dungeons or five-star ships. You know, all these areas that require you to continuously grind for a long period of time, they already have an area you can recharge your flask anyways. So it's not as big of a deal as some people are making it out to be. Don't worry about the naysayers that might be critical of your build or anything, because at the end of the day, it's trove. It's extremely simple. And there's only really a few options that work well in this game anyways. So I don't know. I would just say like, just use the build that ends up working for you. And I do find it interesting when you guys have suggestions about like, oh, I use this character with this flask. You know, it's it's cool to hear, but I'm still gonna just use Death Defying because I'm lazy and I don't care. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Buy the merch you want to support the channel. Smash like, have a wonderful day. Bye guys.